Hello, hello, good afternoon, how are we all doing? Happy Sunday everyone, hope you're having a nice relaxing day so far. Is the AV working today? Unlike my rocket? <laughs> good, good, alright. As long as everything's working, we're fine. We're going to attempt to relaunch this thing back to the moon. Um, I've made one slight adjustment. Well, one slight adjustment and one not so slight adjustment. Uh, Gordon Lees, thank you for two months. Delta Prime. Here are some Jeff books. I like that. But the squirrel vods I've been watching on YouTube. Love the st still love the content, even if I can rarely watch live. Delta Prime. Thank you for nine months subbed, even though you can't watch live. Appreciate that support. Mad Dog, 17 months. Five grit nose cones, impressive. Well, that's the uh, that's the obvious change. There's a subtle change as well. I'm trying something out. I've put these little fuel radial tanks here. I've put them on a on a radial decoupler. So I'm kind of hoping I can chuck them away with the SRBs and save a bit of weight. So I've put the priority up on them. 31 priority, whereas this tank's on a zero. And this lower tank here is on a 20. So that, they should drain first. And then when the SIB go, I hoped we can throw them away. And that'll help the Delta V. Sandra, thank you for 37 months. That's, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. That's the theory. Weight saved. Oh, thank you, Gordon. Uh, something wrong with the series on YouTube. Some videos showed up as private and some of them are missing, Royant. I don't know. I'd have to have a look. I, I It's been so many years since I did this series. Um, I really don't know. It's possible YouTube did its thing. If there's anything missing... Joke.x has failed to load. <laughs> you can click yes to report this issue to Windows. If you do not want to do this, you can have a nice day. Thank you, Miss Moose. Um, yeah, I haven't got any episodes, so I mean, if there's anything missing, if it's private, that's a different story. Asparagus stays a little tanks too, so you can duck two at a time. I don't think they'll last very long. If we've set the priority of these tanks above these main tanks, they will disappear within 30 seconds, probably. <laughs> Plus, we can't really ditch them until the SRBs go, otherwise, likely there'll be a collision. There may still be a collision, I haven't tested this. I haven't put separatrons on them. So, when we chuck them, they may well fall into these. They probably will just fall into this, so it probably won't launch. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. Uh, Ditaqua, thank you very much for 37 months. I don't have time to watch the streams anymore, but I'm still really glad for all the work you do. Well, that's nice, thank you. Second person who said that. Mark Sterling, 51 months, doing well. Hope you're well, Mark Sterling. Right, I think this is probably going to blow up when I separate, and we'll have to change it and put Separatrons on them as well, which will be a bit tedious, but what can you do? So let's give it a whirl. Right, first of all, is that draining? No. Problem number one. Is that draining? Yes. Does that have a higher priority? Yes. So why is that not draining? I don't know. Is it not draining because it's the staging here separates the fuel? Nah. Higher priority number means it drains first. I think it's because the engine, it can't transmit fuel across that boundary. That's what I think. I think the engine acts as a separator. So I'll have to get rid of these during this stage. Okay. Well, just learn something else. Check the coupler. Right. I, I would not have disabled it. That's the thing. Where's the coupler? Decoupler's there. Enable crossfeed. Okay. 
Is that the default? Detective shell. Okay, well, let's try that one more time. I hope it's not changed the priorities. <laughs> Have a look. Thirty one, twenty, well, what do you know? The cross feed enable works. Separators, separators, separatrons. Konnichiwa, squirrel All right, let's see what happens. Hype train, hype cheers. <laughs> and Miko, thank you for the bits and uh, thank you for the level two hype train, guys. Okay, it's throttling down. Cool, so all the fuel's gone in those tanks. So when these SRBs go... They'll disconnect and probably take all the wings with it. I don't expect this to work. I expect an explosion. <laughs> Called it! I so knew, I so knew that was gonna happen. Like, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to have the uh, the little separatrons as well on these, otherwise it's gonna cause huge amounts of damage. <laughs> oh dear! I just turn them like that. Doesn't look very pretty, but it'll get the job done. So I probably want to spin that one out a little bit. Yeah. That looks good. Right, where's he put them? There and there. Where do we want them? Here. I want them in stage three. I think I broke something. I think your rocket exploded with a bloosh bloosh pew pew bang bang type of explosion. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. Body mod. This is what the game's about. Trying not to blow things up and then laughing when they do. Sniffer, thank you for 63 months. I'm enjoying this game once again. Cool. Landing? We never got to landing yet. We ran out of Delta V. Good. See, at this point, you could get rid of those little tanks. But we can't. Because of the location of them. We're looking for clean separation. It's going to be like a firework display, this. Ooh! Nice! That actually worked. 
that actually worked. That's left... Mo look at that. This is burning a lot longer now. This never used to burn this long. That's interesting. Getting rid of that weight really made quite a difference. Mr. Brent, son, how are you doing, sir? Thank you for 38 months. Hope you're warm, mate. I can't believe that worked. We should have plenty of Delta V now. That made a huge difference. Oh, it's wobbling. Why is it not disconnected? Why is it not disconnected? Why is the staging not separated? What's it doing? Oh, the crossfeed? The crossfeed has confused it. That's what should have happened. Be because of the crossfeed, it's... Uh, Mech Jeb got confused. So it's carried on burning. Hmm. Well, we'll push on. wobbling again still we'll carry on using it though it's got the big I think it's draining fuel out of here now yeah it is we'll run with it it's a bit wiggly it's just, it's just swimming its way up that's it's like a tadpole just going into space that's all it is I already did use auto strut but I guess it needs to be auto strut to something else thought about that calf, but if you put them on the outside of the SRBs, they'll have no fuel link back to the tank. Unless you put big fuel lines on. For now, we'll just see how far this thing gets. Altitude's going down, yeah. It's, uh... Not worked very well, has it? <laughs> Let's do something highly dangerous. They are FLT. Let's have a look at the fuel tank options here, actually. Fuel tanks. If we take some skinny fuel tanks and strap them to the SRBs, like a really great idea. It's the skinniest fuel tank we have, that one. What about them? They're kind of cool. How much is in that? 540 in one of them. 440, 360. The Mark Zero. That's the old revised size. That one. Oh, that's, that's really thin, but that might work nicely. How much is in a Mark Zero? 50. Okay. Doesn't seem to want to connect. Hang on, is that going to be enough fuel? How much is in that? That's a TFLT 400. That's a combined total of 400 litres, and we have eight of them. Yikes. That's a lot. I don't think these little ones are going to be big enough. We have 10 of them, we'll get 500, and we have 8, so in theory we have more fuel. Can't 
camera issues. The alt button is your friend. What does the alt button specifically do? Like, what? what's the description of it? How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Arguably too many. Subwolf, thank you for 16 months. Adam Naren, thank you for 27. Thank you, Subwolf. Right, I'm going to put a little aerodynamic thing on top, and then we're going to fuel tank feed it in, and then we're going to get rid of those eight tanks up here. But we'll get rid of them now. Let me just call this uh, Rocket 2, because it has a very different design, just in case we need to come back to that design. So that's that done. Um, aerodynamics, we need a little cap on top. Nope, that one, small nose cone. There we go. And then the highly dangerous fuel tank line. <laughs> Don't do this in real life, kids. Those tanks are liquid only, no oxidizer. What? Well, that's not good. Oh my god. That's no use. So it has to be these massive things. Is there a way around that? Can you make one of these liquid oxygen and one of them fuel? Or it just has to be fuel? Like, there's nothing you can do? Like, why can't you tell it what you want it to be? Why can't you just fill the tank with whatever you want? <laughs> I'm so weird. You need real fuels mod for that. Meh. All right, FLT 500s it is, since we have zero options. Oh, there's a 200. We could use a 200. That might help us a bit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's start with that. Uh, Shimada Friendship, thank you for two months. How's the rover landing go? Dude, can somebody get that clip of that landing? You need to see the landing. It's the best thing you've seen this year. Thank you, dude. This actually looks quite cool. It won't work and it'll probably blow up, but it looks quite cool. Sure, it has to be a more efficient tank. I don't know. Hmm. That 
Look, is that, is that like asymmetric? No. <laughs> exactly. It was beautiful, flawless, epic. Somehow, there we go. Plumb this in. Did I connect that to the big tank? I think I did. Get some styling going on here. Of course, I should probably have painted it before I duplicated it, <laughs> but that would have been sensible. see what happens with this monster. You just watch the clip. You're not supposed to sound and look that surprised when you nail a landing so perfectly. <laughs> you know, I was just echoing what everybody else was thinking. You wouldn't believe how many naysayers there were. Oh, you're gonna need a, a rocket the size of the moon to launch that. So you'll never get that in the air. You won't have enough delta beam for the moon, lol. He'll never land this, lol. And then what happens? I get it though. And I land it and I nail it on the first go. And all those people like, yeah, I got lucky. Yeah, <laughs> lucky ink. <laughs> That's what I got. That's what I have to put up with. If you get it wrong, they laugh at you. And if you get it right, they say you're lucky. <laughs> you go <can't> win. <laughs> That's how it goes. Stream of life. Right, main, we've got a 1.2 thrust to weight ratio. That's not ideal, but I think we have a... Okay, that's not great, is it? I think I broke It's gonna struggle a little bit. <laughs> we come for the explosions and stay for the Delta V. <laughs> this thing is gonna struggle to launch with a 1.2 thrust to weight ratio. I know that much, but we can probably get rid of fuel up here. Because I stored some extra fuel um, up here. Maybe we don't need so much. Hmm. I have to shave some weight somewhere. It'll never get off the ground. Well, 1.2 thrust to weight ratio. Also, we need to time... Hmm. Maybe we should separate these fairly... I don't know. Don't forget the... Dossable, the crossfeeder. Oh, disable it, yeah. Disable the crossfeed, there we go. Yeah, good call. Right, now... That separation of all those parts... Uh, 
that liquid fuel. I think we might have to drain some fuel out of these tanks. Maybe we just get rid of some actually. Just need to fine tune it now. Yeah, well, we'll get to the strut, strut stuff in a minute. Hang on. Thruster weight's going up. One minute, five seconds of burn at 0.75. However, it's not taken into account that these will go, but they're lasting a bit too long. I think we need to reduce the amount of solid fuel we use. Well, nobody would have fuel lines on the outside for a start beaker. <laughs> nobody would ever do that. So what I want to do is I want to try and... We need to get rid of these tanks ASAP. So where are these are all being drained uniformly at the moment? Well, this has a 40 priority. 40 priority. The inner tank has a 20, so they should drain quickly. You can paint a few lines white. I'll leave them as they are for now. Like, I, you guys are worried about aesthetics right now. <laughs> I'm worried about how this thing's going to fly. Are there boosters for the boosters? No, they're, they're actually supplementary fuel tanks for the main rocket, is what they are, but then we get rid of them. The only thing I'm trying to do here is, like, this thrust-to-weight ratio here is a bit of a problem. Like, it won't matter for stage 2 so much, because a lot of weight will have gone by then anyway, possibly. That's stage 2. See, stage three's thrust to weight ratio is so bad. I don't I don't get why it thinks it's so bad. Uh, Mr. Brian, I think fifty one months. No, Roadmaster, I don't own it. Hmm. Stage three worries me a lot. I presume it's because all the fuel is emptied into there and it's, t it's just too heavy. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do a test launch and find out what the problems really are. I'm not sure if that's lying or not. So the outer tanks are definitely draining. Ah, so there's a problem straight away. If the outer tanks aren't drained by the time the SRBs are, they'll get thrown away. So that's an issue. These tanks are bigger than I wanted them to be. Yeah, I turned off the crossfeed. This up is not draining. Yeah, you see, there's going to be some fuel here that gets thrown away. It's like there's too many, I think. I think maybe we'll just have four instead of eight because they're actually 
about twice the size they need to be. So we'll do that first. <clears throat> You're not saying we told you, but we told you, Beaker. Jeez, that, like, first test flight? You're having a go at me? Wow. Right, this can come off. We get rid of that. Try and squeeze it in here where the aerofoils falls are so they don't work. Then. And instead of putting them there, we have them like that. Ditch that over there. Of course, this is going to be very difficult to line the fuel, isn't it? <laughs> is that even legal? <laughs> we may have to come in from the lower side. If no, nope, we can't do that. How can I connect the fuel line? Elite Ron, thank you for 45 minutes. We need them on the outside, but we somehow need to connect the fuel lines inward. Now that's a challenge. So that we'll just have half the number of... So I wanted the thin tanks, but I can't have the thin tanks because they don't have oxi oxidization. I don't know how we're going to do an intermediary tank. I suppose we could. But like a super, super small. It's the smallest fuel tank we can get. An external tank. There we go. If we put like a dumpling. <laughs> this is getting so hacky. We put a dumpling, right? And then. <laughs> we transfer fuel to the dumpling. And then transfer the dumpling the main tank. <laughs> oh my god. This, this is... Oh. Even I'm not proud of that one. <laughs> there we go. Oh man. We can at least paint it. How do we paint the fuel line? Can we even paint the fuel line? There we go. There you go. Spray it white so they don't notice. <laughs> oh, dear. Actually, we could put these on the outside of here again. For maximum aerodynamic effect. Nice. I like that. <laughs> this is looking more like a KSP construction every day. Beast mode, thank you for two years. Don't bill me. Thank you for five years. Jogo43. Can we do a baguette? Use a baguette? Yeah, we could use a baguette. But, you know. It's just a tiny little pod. Right, we need to um, auto strut. It's the grand I think I broke something. Auto strut. Elon Musk just sent a message and said this idea is a bit sketchy. He would never say that. I know you're lying. He would never say that. Right, let's see what we got. 1.37 thrust to weight ratio. Maxed out on the engine, yes. Maxed out on the SRBs, yes. Then we stage to stage 3. 0.75 thrust to weight ratio. Jeez. Elon Musk, we're more inclined to build this thing. Yeah, I'm not liking the numbers up here, if I'm honest. Let's take the fuel out of here and see how we get on. So we've got no fuel in the upper tanks, which is obviously not going to work, because then we don't have enough Delta V to land. But that makes the numbers better. Then. See, I don't know 
how much fuel we would actually need up here to land this thing on the moon. I just don't know. We shall disable it so it can't be burned because we need it for landing. Looks very unbalanced. This is what you call a unit exactly. Beast mode enabled. Right, experimental burn take two. This is our second simulation. Find out what the problems are, fix them. Rinse, repeat. Okay, let's have a look at the tank. Let's have a look at the main tank. Let's have a look at the SRB. We'll watch the telemetry, guys, so we, we look like we're real scientists now, looking at telemetry data, going, hmm. We want this to be zero when that's zero, or slightly before. That way all the fuel's burned out of these outer tanks. At the moment, I think we're looking at dropping maybe one of the tanks or just draining some fuel or something. The main engines throttle right down. That's the problem. Look, because the main engines throttle right down, it's now not burning this fuel. <laughs> it's throttled down for max Q. That's the problem. So we've carried about 40% more fuel than we needed. Yeah, so we're wasting fuel. Let's carry on with the test and see what happens. Oh, that's great separation. Well done. Um, hmm. So it's not separated because it's not out of fuel yet. I see. That would explain the calculations. That would explain the calculations. Interesting. We cut up the max cube, but I'm I'm concerned about things blowing up. We don't need this much fuel. Let's move that up. Two. Try that. Two, three tanks, maybe. It's just a matter of tuning it. I also don't know if there's enough fuel in that top to affect a landing because I can't see the delta V properly. See what we get away this time. Oh, why did it? Okay, some of the fins didn't symmetry. Okay, so what we do is we down throttle the SRBs and that way we get a longer burn and we don't hit max Q as quick. So if we limit the thrust on the SRB and try and buy some more time, 
effectively. As long as we can still take off, that's the main thing. 1.4. Let's try that. Why is that snapping in a really awkward way? You see that? I like how you say thrust. Okay. MK Dons, thank you for 53 months. Looking a bit healthier on the fuel burn stage anyway. Let's see how quickly it gets Max Q going. Okay, that is now nicely ahead of this and it's not yet throttled down. It's getting a bit wobbly down though, I need to auto strut that. Westgen, thank you for five five months. Thank you. Okay, that's actually really nice timing on the burn now. Look at that. So the outer tanks are nearly done. The solid boosters are done. clean separation. Main engine Delta V is going to run out shortly. It's fallen over because it hasn't got enough thrust. <laughs> That's a problem right there. Might have to drop some fuel off the center tank. Because it's basically fallen over because it's not enough oomph now. Maybe it's just trying to gravity turn a bit more actually. Mm, it's not doing too badly actually. Hey Volcano. Okay, separation. 600 Delta V. 600? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yeah, this upper stage is not great. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Even if I enable the fuel in these tanks. Hmm. Master Donny, doing okay, thank you. It's a delta V deficit just trying to circularize. This has got worse. This is worse than it was before. Mighty Griffins Gaming, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome. Uh, I'm not sure, Beaker. Beaker. 
that's the end of that. Oh, they were all in... Uh, didn't realize they were all individually disabled. Here's a question. Why we've got no thrust right now? We could say that that didn't work too well. <laughs> hmm. What if we load back the original? Manchester fuel depot rocket. So this design was doing quite well, except it doesn't quite have enough delta V. You still need to add a docking port to dock to the station. We're not docking to any station. We're going straight to the moon's surface. In actual fact, you could add you could randomly add a docking port underneath if you wanted one. Like the I mean, that's another option, is to just go to the moon station and nick some fuel. How do you want to transfer the fuel to the station? With a, with a transfer rocket. This is not a transfer rocket. This rocket is designed to land a fueling depot on the moon. Hence why it's called the fuel depot and not the transfer rocket. <laughs> It's just a big bunch of storage tanks that's going to sit on the on the moon's surface and the miner's going to store fuel in them. Because the miner's like, it's got fuel in the miner, but it's not a lot. Yeah, it's just a giant jerry can. That's basically what it is. Maybe we just double up on this stage here. Maybe, that, maybe that's the solution. Add more fuel. Let's get rid of the Separatron idea. Let's put that back. Solar panel is going to work too well, though, is it? <laughs> uh, Josh Bosch, thank you for almost four years. Keep on gaming, thank you. You'd be sticking an engine under each of the four big tanks. Oosh. There's things. This, this is going to land on the floor, dude. It won't land on the floor if, if we do that. concerned about these struts here which I don't think we need because we're auto strutting get, get rid of them and check the auto strut
think that connected. I'm not entirely sure. You had a disaster. The space station you made outside orbit might war. Mark. Why doesn't it show anything for stage zero? Like, I want to know what the delta V is for stage zero, and it's not showing me. Let's click on all stages. Here we go. Zero? What? Zero delta V? How does that work? Is it taking fuel from here and passing it through there? I bet it is, you know. Remote guidance unit, decoupler, disable crossfeed. There we go. That's why. That's why. Because this stage is nicking fuel from here. 0.39. But what's it like on the moon? 2.5. So it has enough. This has enough thrust to weight ratio for the moon. No problem at all. Crossfeed drains all the fuel. Yep, it was draining fuel from here into this engine. So it was treating the fuel here the same as this. So now that's only 878 delta V in stage three. Which is when they've gone. Wait, did I disable? These numbers don't seem right. I see why you're called Squirrel. This design is nuts. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> this doesn't seem right somehow. That's on full. time to make a bigger lifter. We'd need more science for a bigger lifter. I'm just a bit concerned about this Delta V here, 945. I guess the these tanks here are just not enough, is it? In fact, what we're really saying is the, these this, this whole tank setup is pointless because you may as well just you may as well just have the main engine on the bottom. In fact, in fact, that's a better design. One second. If we get rid of these tanks completely. Get rid of the batteries. Have we got panels up here anywhere? Yeah. Just get rid of all this and put more fuel up here. It is the way to go. Don't need a protective shell unit either. Get rid of those fuel tanks. The only thing is we'll just need to make sure we have enough fuel to deorbit um, the engine. Because there'll be... Actually, hang on one sec. We just need like a little, little piddly fuel tank to deorbit. That's what we need. We need something...
Why are all these fuel tanks the wrong size? So you have that, like, a small amount of fuel in it. And then we disable it. And we re-enable it when we want to deorbit that engine. Because that this whole this stage here has to come off. And then instead of having those fuel tanks, we have these fuel tanks. Hey TC, thank you, 53. Thrust to weight ratio of 0.39. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> We've got a staging issue. Separate. Engine. Yeah, there's no stage two. Enable crossfeed. Then fill these tanks up with fuel. We should probably allow these thrusters to burn at the same time. There's no point not allowing them to burn at the same time as that. So if you bring that engine to here, we get the extra umph of the little engines as well as the main engine. The main engine we can ditch later. But that gives us more thrust to weight ratio to sort of keep powering up. And then it's just a matter of fine tuning the fueling really at this by the time we're using these engines we'll be higher in the curb in orbit so it shouldn't be as bad All right let's give it a test launch man the problems you have to solve see it's not just a matter of oh just add more fuel or oh just put more engines on it like, it's a balance. Um, we don't really need fairing, if I'm honest, Tharox. Oh, that doesn't look like it's been properly um, strutted. Has some suspension, yeah. Yeah, we shouldn't need any. Uh, there's nothing to fall off, and the the giant rockets at the top kind of shield the rest of the rocket anyway. Thank you, Pinky. Thank you for sixty months. There we go. Stop the bounce. All right, let's see what let's see what happens this time. Okay. I like how that's still there. Whee! <laughs> I think we need to restrut the SRBs or something. Big explosion. I have to do these individually.
Let's try that. Yeah, I tried pressing X for symmetry and it didn't enable anything. Oh, the other thing I added to the to the um the fuel station, I added a cargo bay. Let's see, we brought some cargo look. We've got light CVA propellant, lots of repair kits, and more EVA propellant. So if you ever make it to the moon. I should move the SRBs down a little bit, shouldn't I? Actually, they're fine, because they're in between. Doesn't matter. Let's monitor what's going on. Okay, so the main fuel tank's not draining, which is correct. Although... Yeah, they should drain once the second engine kicks in, if it's worked properly. Red car, thank you for three months. Just see how you do. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Throttle's coming back up. SRBs are about to detach. I didn't tune it. Last time I tuned it so that the main engine... I tuned it so the main... This is a problem. Is they, you have to tune it so the main engine detaches fairly quickly. Because it's just dead weight otherwise. So you want to bring that back so you get a stage and then tweak it back in until that stage disappears. Otherwise, because the, the, the engine at the bottom is the same engine in the next stage, but you've got all this like extra weight that you don't need and the shaking. Because once you lose the SRBs, you lose the structural integrity a bit. I kind of want this to get to zero very close to when this gets to zero. See, now that bit of fuel there is not going to get used. So the next stage is this. Yeah, the staging calculation doesn't take into account the, um, it doesn't take into account the fact that we basically throttle down for max Q, so it gets it wrong. So the, the only way to fix that is, is to detune the SRV. We'll let it roll for now and just see what happens.